Hello friends, why China buy all the trash in the world? Currently, there is a lot of discussion about China buying garbage from all over the world. Honestly, this is a big question. Before answering all these questions, let us tell you that some of China's decisions have a different effect on the whole world today, which the world has never seen before. Do you know where the garbage thrown out of your house goes? You might think that garbage can be recycled. Yes, you got it right. But can you tell who recycles this garbage? Are there any companies that run recycling plants? Just think about where exactly the world's garbage goes, where all the giant recycling plants are. In fact, the whole world is looking for answers to these questions today. A very big trash crisis has started in the present world. In fact, to know the reason for all this, we have to go back 15 to 20 years. Then some Western countries began to inform everyone about the recycling process. With different color dustbins placed in different alleys, people are taught which garbage to put in which color dustbin. In order to make people aware, various commercial ad campaigns were run on various social media. After all this, when a large amount of waste piled up, it was sent to a material recovery facility where different employees used to segregate various harmful substances, including plastics. Then all the garbage was sent to the hydraulic machine and those hydraulic machines turned the garbage into boxes like this. Then various small companies around the world began to recognize them for recycling, but at that time garbage was worth nothing. The value of these trash only increases when China steps into the world of recycling. At that time, China started preparing to build a manufacturing hub. Then they started importing garbage from different countries. Over time, they started spending billions of dollars on these trash. China has already set up numerous large-scale recycling plants unlike any other country in the world. When the countries of the world realize that China is buying unnecessary garbage, then those countries start selling all the garbage to China because they pay enough price for it. Within a few days they recycle all that garbage and make different products and start selling them again in the country. China has done it because the price of Chinese labor is very low. There are a lot of workers so they could do it very easily at low cost. Then came a time when 70% of the world's trash was exported to China. For example, only in 2016 the United States exported about 7 million tons of trash to China, so that China began to rule the recycling world. The ships that China used to buy trash from different countries, they again started selling the recycled products to different countries. China started earning from both sides, at the same time, they have captured the whole world market with their products because of China. Various recycling plants in Western countries are closed because they had no grand plan. Now you must understand how easily China started to control all the trash of the world. Around this time, a Chinese film director, Li Ang, made a documentary video on these cycle plants and the documentary video is called Plastic China. He shows the inside of recycling plants in his documentary, which shows a small child on a pile of garbage. In fact, these children used to work in recycling plants, which caused a different kind of criticism all over the world. That documentary video also won several awards, but later China banned the documentary video because China did not want them to have a bad name in the whole world. But by then, it is too late after the dark truths of China's recycling world came out. Several countries of the world started to take various steps. China's People's Liberation Army began to get a bad name. The Chinese government then changed several of its policies going to the World Trade Organization in 2017 to say it would no longer recycle many materials, such as wood, cotton paper, and plastic. China calls this operation Operation National Survey, and from China, it is said that they will recycle the very small amount of trash brought from Earth that can be made into a good product also so that pollution can be controlled and so that the environment is not polluted because their plants cause a lot of air pollution in china people started suffering from various diseases the whole of china was corrupted but their decision shocked the whole world because the garbage that china used to buy for 300 dollars is worth only 40 dollars today at the same time china also said that in order to sell trash in their country they must be clean otherwise they will not buy them so today, the whole world trash recycling crisis has started. However, some new jobs have been created by people in Malaysia and Thailand. Currently, all of the world's garbage is first sent to Thailand and Malaysia for cleaning. And then from there, they are sent to China so that the dirty garbage does not pollute the Chinese climate. But the world is under threat today. 
because so much garbage has started accumulating that it is impossible to recycle it without China. This situation today is due to dependence on China. So let's reduce the use of plastic products and build a beautiful and healthy world for our next generation.